What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Chainsaw Man. Today we're doing episode 8. This one is called Gunfire. I'm very excited, but also very nervous to get into today's episode. I'm sure you guys know why. Um, but real quick, like always, if you guys want the full unedited, uncut version of this episode, check out the Patreon. Links are down below. Make sure you guys check out the social medias as well. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, all at Dapper Darius. And if you guys hear a little ding in the background or multiple dings, it's because I'm rendering a few videos in the background. I'm very excited. Let's hop right on into it. Chainsaw Man, episode eight, gunfire. Let's do it. So this is uh, them first arriving at Himeno's place. Yep. Before we get into the naughty, naughty fun stuff, we'll call it. They are still very, very intoxicated. It's these cinematic angles, though, that make it look so much more movie-like. I love it. Like, they don't need to add the reflection on the kettle like that, you know? It's just extra work that makes it look rich. She's taking off the shoe. <laughs> Little sandals. Again, I love the show, not tell. You know, personality development on people and how much she cares for Aki. So she hates how much he's fawning over Makima and then Denji and all that. There's a lot of subtle character development. I'm just always loving it. There's no way this goes through, right? There's just no way. Am I on, am I on the right side? Is this still Crunchyroll? That is actually like a sad thing to think, man. Like, it could have ruined kissing form for a, a good little bit, you know? Ooh. An indirect kiss with Miss Makima. Ooh. Now think of this flavor. Don't think of uh, a throw up anymore. Look at the shot with the uh, with the blurred out light. Ooh. As for your first indirect kiss, there you go. Cola flavor chupa chups. So she ended up just knocking out with her tipsy ass. He's sleeping on the floor like the gentleman he is. She doesn't even remember last night. She's gonna ask what happened. You did not. <laughs> and that clears up Aki for her. So it works out for everyone. Secret alliance. Dude, look at these shots, man. Like, I'm assuming it's so much extra work just doing a panning shot like that behind someone. Like, look at the, the extra details on the other balconies and everything. I like this. I'm starting to really like Himeno. Okay. We're going to start adding Himeno as like a situational member of the squad. You know, bring over Aki and Power sometimes. Okay. I don't know about that, but... I I could just be raving about the shots and the cinematography all day. So I'm, I got to stop saying it. I'm glad you had a good time. Did those people just fall asleep, or what What happened to them? Why am I, am I hearing a lot of zippers as if we're bringing out straps? We're just not gonna... We're just... What? Either... They have some contract with the Death Devil. And that was all a part of their plan. I... I... Sh maybe... Ooh! No, but they didn't... It wouldn't make sense to do this in... No, I was like, maybe... This is like some Clone Wars shit where they... Fake Makima's death... To like super motivate Denji to kill the, the gun devil because they really want the gun devil dead. Like how they did that in the Clone Wars with Anakin and type. But like, it's not like Denji even saw that. So there's no point. Like what the f I've been told by some people that this show was willing to kill off characters like Game of Thrones style. But there's no way we're doing it like that with no build up or anything like that, right? There's not a chance. I mean... So when they said Team C, is this like a multi-team thing throughout all of Japan? Is this Tokyo, Kyoto? 
What the fuck is going on? And all that happened in the same time he took... The way that was done was cinematically... The music... Every... We know Denji grew up with the Yakuza, right? Is he bringing out the strap too? Oh, okay. He's the one who was in the, with the zombie devil in episode one who we killed. We murdered the fuck out of him. The gun devil's after your heart, and she just got blinkied. Oh, power with the uppercut. These shots, con. Oh my god. What? Neither human nor devil? I've seen him in a manga cover before for, for fucking Chainsaw Man, I swear! And Haki's whipping out the blade! Good dodges, good moves. What is this counting down? It seems like he's talking to another, like, corporeal being. He's saying now, and, like, is someone else, like, this directing the sword? Curse. Finish him. Zero. You stab him three times, and it's like a contract or a condition in which the curse can now freely kill you? Some... This is Naruto. This is the Grim Reaper. So that's what takes significant time off Aki's life, right? That's what Himeno said? Yeah, what does that mean? And his heart is Pochita. The cursed devil. Who is this? The cursed devil? It's like some Persona 5 no bar from JJK type shit. So we use the sword, which has a huge repercussions, and we still didn't beat the guy? Bro, what is this episode? I was expecting sexy, sexy, fun time, happiness. Uh. Even the ghost devil is saying no. Not just right arm type shit? What are we talking about here? I'll give you everything I got. Oh, the way they're making this look. Oh, with the music? No, this is like some sad sacrificial type music. No, I'm guessing Himeno was going to sacrifice herself for the ghost devil. The designs for the devils are so cool. But now that's something you cherish. It's something you want to keep alive. That's why I... The more the ghost devil uses, the more the contract pays, and the more is paid out by Imano. Both her arms just like that. Bro, I was so happy this episode. You can cry about me too. Oh my god. Snake, swallow it whole. Look how big this snake is compared to what I already thought was big for the ghost. What in the Orochimaru hand mouth? Oh, leave, and it was like, and then the head's just floating there. 
So is the sword dude dead? I'm hoping Himeno didn't die for nothing, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even know. I want to react because this song is so banger badass, you know? But this is how I feel. I feel like I'm going to a gravestone right now. This, the visuals in the song are fucking fantastic, though. I'm loving the cinematics, the shots of everything, how dark and gritty with, like, the grain it has. Is that Himeno with two eyes? I love how Himeno focus this ending is on, you know? With the ghost devil and everything. I, I don't know what to say. Visually and the song wise, I'm adding the song to the playlist as soon as this episode is over and I'm done editing. This is a banger. Visually, this is amazing, but I am fucking speechless. Ah, uh, I gotta say, I am so taken back from that. That's one of those episodes. I can't obviously put it on like the Red Wedding or the Reigns of Casimir is the actual name of the episode from Game of Thrones, but it's just something where I was expecting, especially with how happy the vibes were at the beginning, just something completely different, and then. It's out of nowhere it hits you and it hits you so hard to the point where like genuinely is makima and her guy okay is arai and kobani okay is uh, uh, like what i was gonna say is himano okay but we know that's not true god damn it aki I, i'm worried about him you had khan who was the fox devil say you put neither devil nor human in my mouth you had the ghost devil saying she is scary talking about the girl i'm not messing with her she like resurrected him or did something she also has the snake devil which i'm just like oh my like there's so much shit going on right now that is all terrifyingly amazing but scary this episode was crazy i loved so much of it i gotta give I always do this if you're a member of the Dapper Squad. If you've been here a while, you know I do this with members that I, with people, characters that I like that have died. Always got to give them the, you know, like rest in them, RIP in heaven type shit. And I got to give an honorary one to Himeno for sure. Because not only was it a sacrifice for my boy Aki, but it was for one of the most noblest of reasons. I, I thought it was. I was so happy and looking forward to the future at the beginning of this episode when she was like, I'll help you get Makima, you help me get Aki. I was like, this will be a nice little side quest thing we just do every now and then, go kill a couple of devils, hey, you know, this, that, have a couple of funny moments, eating breakfast, smoking a cig or two, you know, but just for them to rip my heart open in the same episode, like, that's what I mean when I've, I've when I hear this is on some Game of Thrones shit, and it, they are not lying, like, that... I am so butthurt. <sighs> I just love how, even though she she was only here a few episodes, you know, she didn't have the most screen time. Her story and her arc were full circle and so well written when it comes to her master and her feelings, whether it be her rookies and her partners dying to people needing to be insane and people needing to not be normal or not live normal lives to be a devil hunter but her cherishing the normality and the care and compassion that normally doesn't exist in Devil Hunters, she cherishes that about Aki. So she's willing to give up her life, literally everything, to make sure that that compassion and empathy and sympathy and everything continues to live on with him. And that is so well written for her being here for only a few episodes. It's actually pretty insane that... It, it ties with everything she's lost in the past to why she's who she is now to everything she's done in the future aka right now to to preserve you know like it's magnifique that like i can totally tell how a dragon balls and i don't say this disrespectfully like what you like don't like what you don't like completely on you live your life to the fullest i can completely see how a Dragon Ball Z just want to scream, just want a pure action, balls to the wall, action lover would not really care for the show or would say it's overhyped, as people are saying. But if you look at it from my perspective, or at least from a lot of other people's perspective, the character development that's very subtle, show not tell, that some people aren't even picking up on, 
mixed with the amazing cinematography and the extra animation that they just don't need to do mixed with the fantastic music in the in the the world like the and the fighting system all that wrap up to make this easily easily worth the hype like you can tell they put they knew it was going to be like the it's a passion project because they're making every every ending different they're doing this that and the third for it like it's i I could literally talk about this show on a podcast or an, I, I could have a podcast about this show specifically and every episode could have its own like two hour podcast crazy and I can talk about other uh, it would be insane like from how happy I was at the beginning thinking we we're gonna have sexy sexy fun time to how sad and depressed I was at the end but also like they wrapped it up in a way where I'm very excited and very hype as well we have very intimidating new threats on top of the gun devil and it's gonna be amazing when we do fight them and beat them but it's gonna come at a cost like everything like this you know it's, it's already cost us himano and potentially a rai kobani and fucking makima you know i would be flabbergasted if they all died Ugh. hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts now I, I, i'm literally just get lost in thought every two seconds but uh check out that patreon if you guys want the full uncuts all that jazz tell somebody you love please do <laughs> have a good day to have a squad peace